All right, another video here about um, really aimed at um, people in biology who don't do A-level chemistry. One of the confusing things is sometimes um, these volumes, liters, decimeters cubed, and how we work with them. Okay, a liter has the symbol of a capital L, but you'll also see it written with a small l. Now, that can be confusing when it's written down. It looks maybe like um, 11. Sometimes people do a kind of cursive L to make it a bit clearer. Okay. What you'll tend to find chemists do and, and biologists and scientists, instead of using this symbol, they will use decimeters cubed. Okay, DM3. Now, what does that mean? Well, a decimeter is um, 10 centimeters. So if you imagine a cube that was 10 by 10 by 10, 10 times 10 times 10, 10 times 10 100, 10 times 100 is 1,000. So 10 times 10 times 10, 10 cubed, or a decimeter cubed, is 1,000 centimeters cubed. In other words, a litre. One litre is the same as 1,000 centimeters cubed, which is the same as one decimeter cubed. Okay. Now we can also convert quite easily between centimeters cubed and milliliters. A milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. So one milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. Remember that a thousand centimeters cubed is also a liter. So one milliliter is the same as saying one centimeter cubed. It's the same measurement. So sometimes you will see on measuring cylinders and things, they'll be measured in millilitres, sometimes you'll see in centimetres cubed. It doesn't matter, it is exactly um, the same measurement. Now, here's where it gets a little bit more confusing, because then we start to bring in um, things like per litre. Now, when you write things at GCSE level, for example, you'd be familiar with writing things like metres per second. Now, we don't use that notation really, at A level and beyond. This kind of slash to show meters per second, which of course just means meters divided by seconds. Instead we use um, what appears to be a slightly more complicated um, system. We would write it like that, so ms minus 1. Okay. Now this is where things get a bit tricky for people. Now if you want to go into the maths of it, you can, but if I just show you this you're familiar, hopefully, with um, things like, if I put 3 squared, that's the same as saying 3 times 3. Or if I put 4 to the power um, 4, it means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Okay. If I have a negative exponent, if I have a negative number up here, think of it as... Um, Think of it, dividing is doing the opposite of multiplying. And putting a negative number on here just makes it do the opposite of multiplying here, which means dividing. Okay, So if I had that number, 4 to the power negative 1, it's the same as saying 1 divided by 4, Okay, which equals 0.25. If you don't believe me, it's my calculator out. Um, let's try it. If I do one, um, can't find the buttons on it. One divided by four is 0.25. Big deal. But now let's try it as writing um, four, and let's put um, an exponent of negative one. So that's four to the negative one equals 0.25. And you can try this yourself, you know, try it to convince yourself it does actually mean the same thing. So in other words, putting negative one up there is the same as saying one divided by that number. So remember where we had meters per second? If we put it like that, it means meters divided by seconds. And we use this notation, it gets a bit easier um, when you're working out certain things to work with these kind of exponents than it is to work with dividing things. So that, that's why it's done. Now if you don't 
you know, if the maths doesn't bother you at all, then, then don't worry, it's not something you need to look into. But what's this got to do with litres? Well, we usually write, when we're dealing with things like litres, we might write um, that I'm going to put three grams per litre. Okay? But now we know that we don't write it like that, we write it as three grams per litre. Or even more correctly, we would write it as three grams. And remember this idea of the negative exponent, the negative number. So it would be minus one times three. Three like that. So whenever you see a little negative up there, just think to yourself, oh, it just means per. So I could do, for example, um, I don't know, seven kilograms per year. By writing it like that, it just means per. Um, I could write um, 60 beats. Per minute. If it was, for example, talking about heart rate. So that's all that little number means at the end. It just means per. Just like you would write it out here, but that's just the, the scientific way of writing these things out. Okay. So with litres, um, we would write a litre as decimeter cubed because it's 10 times 10 times 10 but very often we're talking about things in terms of per litre so we put this little minus 3 which means per litre, grams per litre